Yeah, well, when I was younger, we moved up to a wee village called Blair Athol, and the golf course was literally a nine iron away, if you know what I mean, like a um, hundred meters walk. So. Um, my dad played a lot of golf and he took took me along like for the first time with the you know the big plastic club and the big plastic ball that yeah. you can hardly miss when you hit it but I still managed to miss. Um, and really yeah from from then on I just I just enjoyed it so much and I, I joined the juniors and I'm really competitive so um, when I start something I want to be the best at it so I carried on and um, managed, to, managed to play to high level. So how old were you when you started? Probably about nine, nine yeah. years old I would say. Is your dad a good golfer? Thinks he is. No, <laughs> no, he is. He was he was a very low handicap when he when he was younger, and um, so it's really it's really dad that kind of taught me taught me the basics of the game. When it's similar to curling as well, it's very kind of like when you look at the kind of putting, it's very um, precision. Same with the kind of curling curling as well. Um, so there's there's lots of different aspects of what I like, um, and right now not playing at a kind of high competitive level, I like it in the kind of social aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I get invited to a lot of really nice courses and events. So. What's the best course you've played? Oh, that's a tricky, tricky question. You know, like, St Andrews here is fantastic, isn't it? I've played a lot of great courses. I've been lucky enough to play a lot of, a lot of great courses abroad as well. A few really nice ones in Canada and Toronto. Um, and I just enjoy it when the, when the weather's nice. I enjoy every course when the sun's out. Um, so how close were you to turning pro or were you ever? Do you think? Um, you know what, like it was a decision I kind of had to choose whether golf or curling and a handful of golfers make it to the top and I'll never know whether I could have been one of them or not and I think um, curling was definitely my sport and having got that Olympic medal is, I've definitely got no regrets. What do you think about the RNA finally after 250 years putting a vote out <laughs> to their members saying that they might let women join? You know what, like um, that, that's up to the RNA whether, whether they're going to change that decision. Um, but who knows, who knows. Do you think that women should be allowed to join any club at all? Well, I, I think um, a lot of people have different opinions and um, I'm not very strong either way. It's not something I've really looked into and, and listened to an awful lot of, but as I, like, I just enjoy golf. I enjoy playing all these nice courses. Um, I love Garcia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like he's always kind of kind of come from under the radar. Ian Poulter, um, a total um, Ryder Cup hero, isn't he? And I think that's great when, when people come out to play when it comes to these massive team events. Cause I know in my sport curling we have what you call the Continental Cup which is basically the same um, format as Ryder Cup and when it comes to these events like everyone doesn't realise like how big mm. big they are, like they're huge and um, it's very nerve wracking playing when you've got a whole team behind you and you're, you're playing for other people as well so I think Ian Poulter's one guy that we know every Ryder Cup he steps up, we know the, the North Americans are scared of him when it comes to that so um, yeah he's super cool. Yeah, like we, we worked really hard leading up to the Olympics and um, I won't lie, like after the semi-final, like we were devastated when you when you lose that game and, and you lose the chance to compete for that gold medal. Yeah. Um, but I guess at the end of the day we won our last game and we went there looking for a medal and we came home with a medal and um, I think I'm um, really, really happy we came with the bronze medal and it's it's a moment I'll never ever forget. Well, we're going to keep training hard. We've still got um, another competition this year and um, we're going to have a good summer, a few holidays. And then carry on. You know what? Like this team's not finished yet, and hopefully push for 2018 Olympics. Ooh, you can have Mulligan. You can retake. You should be able to have Mulligan. I know. I tell you, that's a Mulligan around. <laughs>